Hello everybody. In this tutorial I want to quickly show you how you can write multiple choice questions for Moodle in Word without having to use the Moodle question uh, editor. So why would you want to do that? Let's assume you want to do some multiple choice questions for a multiple choice quiz. I've got here some questions about DNA. And if you want to put them into a Moodle quiz, you have to set up the questions. So you set up your quiz, you have your multiple choice questions, and then you open this editor, this multiple choice editor, and you are greeted with the screen. So you have to fill in the question name, the question text, you have to do, if you want to do feedback, uh, which we are not going to do, and then you go through the answers and so on and so forth, and save the changes and so on and so forth. And if you've got a number of questions, this can be quite time consuming uh, because it's a little bit clunky. So maybe there is a better system. So how would this better system look like? First of all, let's create a category in which we put all these questions. So I'm going to my uh, my, my my Moodle, that's here, and in this gear box here, or this gear bar, I go on to more and set up a question bank where I put my DNA questions under categories. Uh, I go to the top level of my Moodle uh, module is called messing around very appropriately. So I go to the top level and I put in here DNA questions. So this will be where my questions about DNA will be located and to which I import my questions. So I add the category, job done. And I see here under questions categories, I've got my new DNA question here. And I see there are zero questions in there. So I would obviously have to then import some questions. So I would do this but I first would have to write the questions and put them in the right format. So what is the right format? So as you see here, I've got my questions, I've already written them, and you probably notice that it is a little bit of an interesting format. So in the first part here, that's, that's this part here, I've got my question text. Then I've got my distractors and the correct answer. And you notice that they all are with these capital letters, A, B, C, D, E. I've got five um, options for the students. And for the format that we are going to use, it has to be these capitals. Uh, but that's quite easy because you can easily set them up with these uh, numbering systems. So that would be this numbering system. I've done it already. So these are this is the format for the uh, options. In the next line, you see the answer and you notice it's written all capitals. So answer in all capitals, colon, and then there is the correct answer and that would be in this case A. So that's the first question. Then we have two empty lines and you can easily check that when you go to this paragraph uh, symbol. So you see it's consistent. Uh, you've got empty lines amongst all the questions. So here that's the case. and. After the two empty lines, you start with the next question here. And again, the same uh, system, you've got A, B, C, D, E, answer all capitals, colon, and then the correct one. To make life easier for myself, I always put, or I usually put, the correct answer in A. 
uh, because I can later on select in Moodle that uh, the uh, options are shuffled. So it doesn't really matter, but I used to do it just correct answer in A, although I think, oh, here I've got one in C, just to demonstrate that it also works if you have your correct answer here in C. So that is basically the setup in Word and you just can write as many questions as you want as long as it is in this particular format. Now you save this document. So you save it, save as, I put that here in a folder and I save it as DNA questions here. I've already done that. And it's important to save it as plain text. Do not save it as a Word document, save it as plain text, which you find when you click here on this down arrow. So save it as plain text, save, and it will come up with a, a rather scary looking screen. Don't worry too much about it. What you need to make sure is that other encoding is ticked and under other encoding, you want this Unicode UTF-8. That also needs to be highlighted. So other encoding Unicode UTF-8. If you do something different here, it will not work. I can guarantee you I've tried. So click OK. So we now should have our DNA questions in a plain text as a text file here. And that should be absolutely fine in the right encoding. Now we go back to our Moodle module. So, and we just simply say import the questions. Uh, we can just quickly check, are we in the right category? DNA questions. Let's click on that again. Yep, DNA questions, that's the right category. And import. And now what we do is we import our questions. But before we do that, we click on the icon format because what we have done here in our Word document, this actually is the icon format with question title A, B, C, D, E with capital letters and then answer in capitals colon A, no space and then two line breaks. That is the icon format. So we have the icon format here. And what we do now is under general, what I usually do is double check that it is import category. Uh, this one math match grade error if grade not listed. <clears throat> that is not a problem. But what I do is stop on error. I say, please don't stop on error because sometimes it uh, just simply throws silly errors uh, for whatever reason. So let's import it. So here is our text file and all we need to do is drag it over. So we've got the DNA questions text here and import. And Moodle does the import. And it says importing four questions from file. We just had only four questions, but you can have as many questions as you like. You can set up an entire question bank of say 500,000 questions if you want. Everything looks green here. That means there were no errors, so that's good. And we can do now continue. So continue and we see here our questions in the DNA question bank with only four questions. We can now check that everything is all right. So click on the edit and the preview button. And here is our question. And uh, we might fill in the correct response. Yeah, that was A, exactly. Uh, it has these numberings here, which of course then in the quiz you would uh, remove very easily and just simply go for the, the, the numbering that Moodle offers you. So that's a very easy and simple way to write lots of questions 
uh, for import into Moodle. Uh, don't do copy paste or something like that. You don't need to use the Moodle editor. Uh, there is a much better system, in my opinion, which can save quite a significant amount of time. So I hope this makes sense and thank you very much for watching.